video. Here we are at Manly Aquarium World in Sydney, and we've got two goldfish here spawning. Now, the black one is the male, and the calico fantail is the female. So there she is, rubbing her uh, up against the the bow, and you can see those little white dots all falling down. They're actually the eggs. So she's just releasing clusters of eggs. And we're in the middle of July, which is the middle of winter in Sydney, which is, uh, means that these guys are spawning a little bit early, because goldfish typically spawn and, uh, in early spring. So they're just a tiny bit ahead of themselves, but the thing is, because they've probably come from a colder environment, uh, prior to us getting them and then been transferred into this tank where it is much warmer in the shop uh, that's probably where the confusions come about from so although we've got some writing on the front of the tank um, which is blocking our view slightly it's still worthwhile having a look at this now you can see more eggs just scattering now is typical of a goldfish to scatter eggs like this and uh, in a situation where there's other fish present they'll, most eggs will just get eaten. Goldfish will breed much better in a, an earthen dam where the water is often very murky or a, 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 a pond that has a lot of algae in it or a lot of plant growth and the fish would then have or the baby fish would have half a chance the, the eggs even would have half a chance of surviving. Now the male will chase the female incessantly um, uh, to the point of exhaustion. I've seen goldfish, um, well females, when there's in a, in a larger environment where there's a lot more males present, um, I've seen the female actually die from exhaustion because this can go on for several days. She's looking at the, the valve there and she's hoping that when she scatters her eggs that the eggs will actually stick to the, to the valve. And don't even be surprised if um, she's not eating a few of the eggs herself.